Well, our blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me this past night. The Lord Jehovah Yahweh, the mighty God of Israel, the creator of the universe, the God of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord God, he has spoken to me, blessed people, in a very tremendous conversation. I just want to share a little bit more on the conversation that took place uh, this morning, the conversation that the Lord had with the church this morning, the conversation that he had with the nation. And uh, in that conversation, the Lord spoke to me about the false doctrines, many, many false doctrines on the earth that are gravitating around Christianity. The Lord rebuked the false doctrine that are periphery to Christianity. You know all of them, false doctrine, and he rebuked them. He took some of their temples, the false doctrine, the doctrines that people follow with their teaching. Some of them say they don't believe in the Holy Spirit. Some believe in different. That, that these doctrines, the Lord is now decided to warn them and ask them to repent and receive Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior and let the Holy Spirit help them prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And also in the conversation I had in the morning, uh, the Lord has spoken against, um, against racism. You see that the church in the USA still continues. You watch the Christian TV. They are going on as usual as though nothing has happened on the earth. And they know very well, they are very much informed that the two most important prophets of the Lord are already ministering to this generation on the earth right now. And instead of organizing themselves and seeking the Lord, seeking the counsel of the Lord, they're locked in pride. They're locked in pride and racism, looking at color. And so you see the church in Europe is in the same way, Australia, Canada, New Zealand. Instead of seeking the Lord, big things are happening. Visitation of God the Father, whom they purport to worship, is taking place. And they attempt to ignore. Instead, they are caught up in blackmail, attempting to blackmail and malice. Nobody can malice the Lord. Everybody now knows that there's a big visitation taking place. And that blackmail and wickedness and evil and slander you know, is, and racism is simply going to lead them to hell. At one point, they have to seek the counsel of the Lord to find the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah and to get the instruction, because you can see this is a mega, a major visitation of the earth. So the Lord has rebuked the false doctrine, the sexual immorality in the church, the falsehood by the pastors. You see them all over. Christian TV, TBN, Daystar, whichever TV, faith, inspiration. You see that in there. And they're continuing on as though nothing is happening. And that journey they are on can only lead to hell. Turn away from sexual sin. Turn away from the gospel of prosperity. Turn away from the racism. You see now there is a lot of racism in America. They are not able to receive the messengers of the Lord because they are racist. I think they were looking for prophets of their color. Turn away from racism. Turn away from tribalism. Turn away from sexual sin. Turn away from immorality, the gospel of prosperity. Turn away from the corruption in the church. The corruption you see in the lives of the Christians. Corruption in Christian salvation. And again, like I say, turn away from racism. You see that the church in America is aware. In Europe and everywhere, they are aware that the two prophets of the Lord have been sent. But because of racism, they are racist. They are not able to consult the Lord right now. You will see hell if you don't listen to the instruction of these two. So turn away from anything that can stop you from inheriting the glorious kingdom of God. The Messiah is coming. Prepare the way. Again, turn away from racism. Come and consult of the Lord. Come and inquire of the Lord. 
You see, the church in America is aware that the two dreadful prophets have been sent. But because of racism, they're racist. They are not able, their pride is not able to allow them. They are, all, they are going to hell. Because you can see without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. And you can see the way they run their salvation. The church in Europe, the church in Australia, Canada, they are aware that the Lord has sent the dreadful prophets of the Lord. That the prophet Elijah is walking the earth now, commanding heaven to open, and heaven is beaming on him. And there's a tremendous revelation of the two prophets of Revelation 11. But because of racism, I think they were expecting their color. The Lord is not democratic. The Lord cannot be arm twisted. The Messiah is coming. Be holy. Turn away from sin and wickedness. To the Arabah. To the Shalom.